If you want complete control over the experience of a user pressing a button, then React Native provides a relatively new component for that purpose called Pressable. So let's take a look. Within a bare bones React Native application, we iterate over a list of fruits. And for each fruit, we render a touchable opacity that we looked at in the previous lesson, followed by a text containing the fruit name. By itself, the touchable opacity is quite a neat component and as we click the different buttons, we get a nice transparency effect, but that's the extent of the user experience that it offers. Now upgrading from a touchable opacity to pressable is actually quite straightforward. We can get rid of the touchable opacity and instead use the new pressable component. Now this component does not take an active opacity prop, so we will have to delete that. And as far as the built-in user experience goes, there is none. So right now, as we press the different buttons, there is no user indication of a press being active. But fortunately, we can actually completely customize the style of the pressable by passing a function instead of just a static value. Now this function will get passed an object that contains a pressed boolean. And this will be true if the user is currently pressing the button and false otherwise. And we can actually return an array from here as well. So the array will contain the existing styles.item box. And then we will check if pressed is true. And if it is true, then we will add additional styles. Currently, we are simply modifying the new opacity to be 0.8. And this actually makes this pressable behave just like a touchable opacity. While we are pressing the different buttons, you can see that the opacity is changing to 0.8. Now we're actually not limited to just modifying the opacity. In fact, we can provide as many styles as we want. For example, we can change the background color to be something else as well, like a light sky blue. Beyond this style tweaking, the principal component actually allows complete modification and customization of the rendered children as well. To do that, instead of providing a React node child, we can actually provide a render function. And this render function gets passed a pressed boolean just like we saw with the style prop. And we can use this boolean anyway within the render function. For example, we can use this to customize the style of the text child. For example, changing its color to something else while the pressable is being pressed. And as you mentioned, this is actually complete customization of the children. So instead of using it just for style, we can even change the text content. For example, add a suffix pressed after the fruit name while the pressable is being pressed. And now as we press the different buttons, you can see that this new text shows up in addition to the existing customizations that we have made. Now, of course, there are lots of other creative ways that we could use this pressable boolean as well. But let's look at another neat feature of the pressable component called long press. We can add a handler for long press using on long press. And a long press is something that is defined as a press that is longer than 500 milliseconds or half a second. If a long press is detected, then on press is no longer triggered and instead on long press is invoked. And this is commonly used to provide advanced features to power users or simply to hide features that you want to use for yourself during development. And of course, if we don't hold on to the press for more than half a second, then on press is triggered just like it was before. As you can see, there is a lot of power baked into the pressable component in quite a simple fashion. You can continue your React Native journey over here. Thank you for joining me. Smash that like and subscribe for more content like this and I will see you in the next one.